Good morning, good morning, YouTube. It's your boy, King Howard. Hitting y'all with another video early in the morning. <coughs> um, this is just a recap video of uh, last night's festivities. Of course, the uh, Dodgers and Astros game was incredible. I mean, I'm talking about on a historic, monumental level last night. Um, even though the Dodgers lost, it was still a great game. I mean, the back and forth, the home runs, the drama, the intensity, uh, it was great. Um, a couple shout outs. Shout out to the Carl Strauss Company um, for hooking uh, me and my peoples up with those mugs. Thank you guys. The the way wait, the waitresses were fabulous. The food was fabulous. In and, and the IPA beers were even better. So shout out to the Carl Strauss Company. Um, who else I want to shout? Shout out to my boy John. Hung out yesterday. Got super wasted watching these football games. <clears throat> um, uh, yeah, we talked about the Astros game World Series. Uh, unfortunate injury to. Zach Miller for the Bears. That was a nasty injury. Get well soon. Um, <clears throat> hashtag Bear Down. Um, even though I'm, the Bears is our rival team, I don't like to see players get injured like that. I think Zach Miller is a great, I ain't going to say great, but he's a good tight end. I wouldn't mind having him on our team. Hold on. Deshaun, Deshaun, <coughs> Deshaun Watson and uh, <coughs> Russell Wilson had a great game. Probably the best game of week eight, I think. Um, the Eagles beat the oppressed in 849ers. Uh, Steelers won on the road. Cam Newton. Got a win. Shout out to Cam. Even though the stat line didn't look MVP-ish like, he still got the W, bro. So respect to Cam. Then we're going to see what you do next week. Because if you don't perform well, you know you're going to get another fucking jackass video from me. Uh... I know the, the Denver Broncos and uh, Chiefs game is tonight. Shout out to David Perna. Um, go to his YouTube channel. It's called That Good Sports. He's like the funniest guy. <laughs> He's the funniest guy on the internet to me when it comes down to breaking breaking down the games of the week. Hilarious. Um, also follow him on Twitter uh, at um, That Good Sports. Uh, Broncos and Chiefs tonight. I know he died. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know he dying for his Broncos to win, but I don't think they're going to win it tonight. I think the Chiefs going to take it. Uh, Y'all already seen my last video about the Lakers and shit. LeBron James and them lose to the Knicks. <laughs> LeBron James and the Cavaliers lose to the Knicks. Wow. Is LeBron James still playing point guard? I want to know because if he is, his defense sucks. How you let Spencer Dinwiddie? Spencer Dinwiddie put up a stat line like that on you. Then you let, uh, who's the, who's the guard for the Knicks? Uh, uh, you let one of them guards from the Knicks put up a good stat line on you. <clears throat> I don't know about this Cavs team, man. <laughs> I know it's early in the season. That's what LeBron James said. It's early in the season. I know it's early in the season, but the Knicks? You got that kind of talent on that team? Oh, yeah. The fucking Warriors lost, too. What the fuck? <laughs> The Warriors lost. Uh, 
I forget who they lose to. They lost to a bum ass team too. Like, I don't understand this shit. Well, as long as y'all keep losing, the Lakers look better. <laughs> That's all I can say. The Clippers lost. They finally caught an L to the, uh, I think it was the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Ben Simmons went out there and did his thing. <clears throat> shit. What's going on? <clears throat> I think this is just a, uh, this is what you get. This is the kind of product you get. When you start the season too early and start making all these changes and shit, you know what I'm saying, to benefit the high-profile players, you know what I mean? Oh, we don't want to play no back-to-backs. So, okay, bump the, bump the season up early. Now you're seeing all of these injuries happening. All these dudes are out of shape. You know what I'm saying? The careless fouls, the no defense getting played, the, the the over-unders being out of control. Like, god damn. But I'm giving basketball until maybe maybe mid-December to where you really start seeing some really good basketball being played. Cause right now this this is just a shit show, sloppy ass, just it just look unprofessional. You got Draymond Green getting into a fight with Bradley Bill. <laughs> You know what's funny about that? I know Bradley Bill's, uh, his little main squeeze. I know her. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I'm not making no allegations. But that's neither here nor there. Shout out to Kamaya. Um, yeah, man, I didn't understand that shit, man. That was, that was a weird-ass play. Yeah, that was... That was that was stupidity on Bradley Bill's part. I mean, you can't let... I mean, basketball and sports players, they're going to talk trash all the time, but that just let me know right there, man, you must be a sensitive-ass nigga. He must have said something about Kamaya. He must have said something about your broad, man. <laughs> he must have said something about Little Fizz or something. I don't know. Whatever whatever got under your skin, Bradley, but you need to shake that shit off, man. Hell of a shooter. Um, John Wall... Not living up to his end of the bargain against Lonzo Ball. Took the L. Shh. Who knows, man? What, what, what will happen this week? We can only tune in and see. Yeah, man, just a weird week in football, man. Um, the Browns ain't shit. Still ain't shit. Uh, the Bengals almost let that game with the Colts get out of hand. You know what's funny about the Bengals? They always do dumb shit on the field that could end up costing them the game. Like, stupid-ass, you know, helmet-to-helmet penalties for no reason. You know what I mean? Same thing with the shit with Sean Lee when he concussed old boy, uh, Piles Nils, whatever his name is. Hold on. Whatever his name is. Just, uh, Zeke. What ha what's gonna happen with Zeke, Zeke this week? I say let the motherfucker play. If y'all gonna let him go ahead and play till week eight, and y'all don't fucking nip this shit in the bud at the beginning of the season, what's the point of what's the what if the what if the Cowboys make the playoffs? A lot of people saying that they not, but what if the Cowboys make the playoffs? What y'all gonna do? Suspend Zeke then? That's dumb. You might as well just let him play out the rest of the year and then come back to this shit next year because the season is already over as, as far as we as the season is almost over. It's pointless to keeping. Keep oh we have to wait till next week. We have to wait till next week. We have to wait till next week. It ain't like the Cowboys run game still ain't gonna work. They still got running backs. It ain't gonna matter. But hey, if y'all wanna keep letting Zeke play, I ain't got no problem with roster and that motherfucker and fan duel and draft kings and winning money with him. He want me some money to last week, he want me some money this week. Hey, let him play this week so I can win some I can win some more money. That's how y'all wanna do it. Oh and uh the, the, the Texans and the owner. Now, if I'm a player on the team, first thing I would have thought of is how deep is this conflicting me mentally and emotionally as a player playing for this organization? Then you got to go back and think, think about draft night. When you went on stage in front of your family, shook Roger Goodell's hand, held up that jersey, cried, we made it, we made it, we big time now, we made it. And then your owner, you go, you meet the owner, shake the owner's hand and all that, take pictures with his ass, talk to him, and he come out and say some shit like that. 
personally, if it was me, I wouldn't have showed up to the game. I would have said, fuck the Texans on it. I would have, you know what, you know, you know what he would have had to do to get my respect? Man, go and, go and apologize. I would have said, you know what, go and apologize to all my ancestors' graves. Go do that. Let's put that, let's, let's put that on social media. That's neither here or there. You know, at the end of the day, these these players got miles to feed. You know, they want to take a stand by taking a knee. I'm so tired of the knee. Fuck the knee. That shit is, shit is so overrated now. To me, it don't mean shit no more. Because these on, obviously these owners going to keep saying what the fuck they want to say, and these motherfuckers going to keep on playing for them. As we seen, they went out there and put their heart and soul on the field against the damn Seahawks. <laughs> Shout out to the Texans, though. But this is your boy, King Howie. I don't want to bug y'all too much with, the, with my fucking rambling. It's your boy, King Howie. Cam Newton. You better be good this week, bro. You better be good this week. It's your boy, King Howie. In the meantime, between time. Always keep a G. Go Pack Go.